everybody, it's Badger Jeff coming to you. This is my second video on YouTube. It's more of an introduction video. Uh, the first one was in response to Blue Jacket 66 with his thousand subscriber giveaway. And congratulations to everyone who won some just amazing prizes from Dave. He's extremely generous and his collection is pretty amazing. So if, I'm sure if you found your way to my puny little channel you'll definitely have heard of him and you'll be able to check out what he has he has just a collection from when he was a little kid all the way through now and it's just it's fun to watch it's even I don't need to own those cards but it's definitely fun to see them so my channel I guess introduction this is um, just an experiment but I'm basically a Packard collector and I was inspired by Blue Jacket 66's subscription um, contest and also from Scott Scotty Nation to put up some more videos. I put one up in response, but it was really just kind of a silly one. So I don't know where this is going to go, but what I'd like to do is kind of show what I'm collecting because that's what it's all about. It's not really about investing, at least for me. It's about collecting and sharing with friends and seeing what other people have and just to see the different cards because a lot of them I've never even seen before. But what I'd like to do is sort of add some music to it. Music is a big part of my life. I enjoy different genres and different groups. So you probably see a different band highlighted each time I put up a video and I'll try to keep them short. Um, today I'm just gonna basically introduce myself, show you what I've gotten in the mail lately. I know mail days are can be kind of a boring video. I know Blue Jack at 66 will be probably bored since even though he inspired me to make this video, but um, showing cards sometimes get a little, gets a little tedious, but that's what we're here for. Um, I'll try to be make some more things interesting as I go along. But I just wanted to show you what I've collected over the last, basically the last month. Are these these stacks that are coming in front of you here. These are all Packer cards, and the reason there's so many of them is because I am collecting the 1948 to present Packer set which sounded like a fun idea until I realized there's a thousand cards in the set. So what I originally intended to do is just collect one card from each year for the Packers. Um, I was a, obviously collected cards as a kid like many of you and got away from the hobby but back into it. Um, that collecting one card from each set slowly graduated into collecting the entire Tops issue set. So some of that won't go through every card, obviously, because a lot of these are just ones to fill in more recent sets. Like here, everybody needs a 2007 Justin Harrell and a PSA 8. Um, he was a major major bust for the Packers, but it's part of that difficult 2007 Tops set. And I got a lot of these cards from Mick. If anybody's on the PSA registry, he is the number one now in the Packers set. He's Interestingly enough, he's not from, at least doesn't live in Wisconsin, I won't say where he lives for privacy, but he's the number one and the number two collector, Lucas Todd, who I bought cards from, he doesn't live in Wisconsin either, so I don't know if they're from Wisconsin or just fans, but Packer fans definitely have a wide, wide net. Um, some of the highlights from this group, uh, it's all over the place, so Paul Kaufman 2005, that's the last card I need for the 85 set. There's some upgrades, like 76 Bruce Van Dyke, you know, upgrading to a 9, which I had before, as an 8. Um, another upgrade, 77 Rich McGeorge, tight end. Great tight end back in the 70s. But there are some better cards in here as well. Uh, 67 Nitschke. Nitschke's cards are pretty sought after. I think I have his rookie in a 6. Uh, but I try to keep most cards in an 8 or a 9. 2006 Topps Chrome. Roger's second year in a 10. I think that's a good card. Uh, has a long ways to go as far as value. But, you know, it might increase, it might not over time. It doesn't really matter to me. I just think it's a cool card. Um, Got to find a good spot here. Oh, that works. The last 61 Topps card I need. Boy Dollar rookie, great Super Bowl one wide receiver. Um, that's a tough card to get. 
I think Scott, Scott and Scotty Nation has it probably in a 10, but most likely in a 9. Uh, but as you get up in higher grades, you know, as you all know, those costs go quite up, go up quite a bit. So I'm needing to get a thousand cards. I can't get everything in an eight and a nine. Uh, 2009 Topps Chrome Clay Matthews rookie card for the the registry set. I think it's the all is it the all time Packers registry set that's needed. I think that's a great card. You can find it for a decent price sometimes, but it does go up, kind of ranges in price quite a bit, all over the place. And then this is the second to last Bart Star card I need. Um, if you want to look at my registry on PSA, it's Badger Jeff. All the cards are in there, but this is a 66 and an 8. It's a little bit off-center. It's got nice sharp corners. But I've got most of his cards in at least a 7 or 8. Not this rookie, though. The rookie I have in like a 2.5. I just got it to have it. Um, yeah, they're mostly what I collect a pack of cards, but I have picked up a couple other things. You can see I've sort of gotten into this 2000 or 1992 Michael Jordan, or I'm sorry, 1992 Topps Archive set. Collecting the Jordans, both in the, the gold and the regular issues are just nines. The gold, I think 10 goes for a few hundred dollars now, which is pretty crazy, but I think that's just a cool card. So I picked those up when I can, and I guess that's about it. So I'll probably add some different graphics and music to this video, but uh, I also picked up a couple of boxes. You know, I'm typically a vintage collector, but I did pick up another box of 2014 Topps Chrome, which is just an amazing set. Kind of got me into the modern football. I had no idea what Topps Chrome was until a few weeks ago. Um, so I could open that up and film that in the future. And then also a 2008 Topps Chrome box set. So looking for some Jordy Nelson rookies and some Devontae Adam rookies and anything else I can pull. So I might share that with you in the future. Um, got a few recent mail days here. I'm going to pre-open them. See what we got here. This is a package from Troy Boy, who's a seller on eBay. I was, I was, I was put a, a Go Pack Go on there. Package is, is, is a card drill well and just more cards for the Packer set. Let's see what we got here. Got a Amon Green game used swatch from his jersey. It's a pretty cool card. I don't have a Amon Green game used. Jared Aberdera signed card. You know, you can pick these up for so cheap now because he never really quite made it. He had some injuries, but he's a Badger, so I like to collect Badgers and Packers. Uh, Keith Woodside, everybody needs that. PSA 9 for the, the set. You know, some of those cards, you either submit them yourself or you just find them when you can. And a lot of times, you know, people try to put high prices on those 10s just because there aren't many of them. This was uh, just a real cheap pickup. I usually collect just PSA cards, but sometimes I'll pick up a card that I think is kind of neat. This is a, I think, 2018 Immaculate Brett Favre, 2 out of 99. I just like it because I don't have a Brett Favre card in his Mississippi State jersey. And then to round it out, got a 62 Max McGee, which I think is the last card I need for that set. I might be missing one more. I got the 62, uh, the Max McGee and the Boy Dollar here in the last month. Both sixes, not the greatest greatest grade, but you know, if the price is right, I'll pick it up. And then the last one is Devin Harris. Game used swatch and signed, which is a pretty cool National Treasures card. I like to collect National Treasures and Immaculate when I can get them um, for a good deal. And usually Badger players are a pretty good deal because a lot of them didn't make it unless it's J.J. Watt or Russell Wilson or some of the big names. But that's it. Just an introduction to everyone. I hope I'll post some more videos in the future. And, you know, it's fun just to get to know people through this fun hobby that we have. All right. Bye-bye.